Not ready. Good. Jason, the rocket launcher. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome everyone to oh. the J. No. Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the January 9th, 2015 ESO chapter meeting. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out, and I would also like to especially and welcome our newest members to the Swarm community as I break up my magnifying. Uh, Basilis and Blueberry Pies. Uh, Blueberry Pies is currently getting her vehicle, but I assume she will soon be with us. Um, we have a ton of information. To, um, a lot of things are happening in the future as far as changes and updates to the game. Dead girl has and been. also as far as our schedule. So without any further ado, uh, let's get right into it with Hobby as far as uh, our community events. Greetings, welcome everybody. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail. Hail. If you have not done so yet, please click the chat button on the right hand side of your ventral client. And I'm going to go over as briefly as I can the um, new event calendar I'll have coming out either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I've got pretty much our um, new lineup of events. Um, down. Um, there is a lot of open slots for anyone if you want to run an event. Um, you do not need permission from your chapter management to run an event. If you want to run something, um, obviously you don't want to clash with what's already on the calendar, so take a quick look at that. Put a post in the forums, post in the shout box, and get something going. Um, don't hesitate to step up and run something if you want to run PvE, PvP, um, if you want to do some open world PvE events, that sort of thing. we got plenty of time frames open for you to do stuff. Um, a lot of stuff that what we have planned normally is evening things. So you have a lot of daytime things and early evenings that are available as well as late night, well into the early mornings as well if you have that sort of a time schedule. So if you, need to, if you want to run something and get people excited for something, don't hesitate to, to let people know and get that started. You really don't, you don't need to have permission from us to do something like that. Uh, just get it going, get the people that you want to get going, and, and go out and have fun. Has um, also keep in mind that Saturdays after our meetings are a great opportunity to get events running because you've got everyone available um, at the guild meeting. Um, and it's generally a great time to get an event going because you get as many people as you can possibly get. So, again, if you want to add something to the calendar that's reoccurring, either daily or weekly, let me know and I will get it added to that um, as soon as I can. Like I said, it's either going to come out tonight or tomorrow. I'm going to dinner after we have this guild meeting here. So, um, we'll see what I can get done tonight. But if not, latest tomorrow. But let me know if you want to add something to that calendar and I'll add it to it. And with that being said and done, I'm going to pass it on to Ritualist for PvE events. Alright, thank you. Uh, like he mentioned, we have uh, got our calendar updated and we have a decent amount of new events planned out for everyone. Um, first and foremost here with the PvE stuff, you know, we got three different things coming throughout the week. Um, the big one that is Lagum a lot of people have been requesting. I do believe we'll be on Wednesdays, which is uh, going to be some Craglorn group and um, get every, get some groups going to do all the quests out there, the four-man delves, um, and just be able to get all that stuff completed in a, in a good time. Um, and with that, the other two, um, Monday, oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, the Craglorn stuff is going to start a little bit later on in the evening, um, 8 p.m. EST. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, that's negative five, um, if that means anything to you. Um, for your uh, UTC time zone, is the, the standard base of time zones, I believe it is. Um, so, um, the other event is Monday. That's going to be uh, just general world PvP. Uh, whoa! Sorry about that. Kind of ran off there. Wrong button. Um, it, it's going to be world general <laughs> general world PvP day. Um, not one specific zone. It's going to consist of um, 
you know, just the, the bigger bigger stuff in the world that's a little bit harder to complete. So the possibly the delves, um, you know, you're going to do some dolmens, do some world bosses, all that fun stuff. Going to go throughout all the different zones, um, you know, the 1 through 50s, and then the two veteran zones. Um, so be sure to attend if you're looking to get any of that stuff to complete it, or you're just looking to have a good time rampaging throughout the world with everyone in the guild. Um, and now the last event will be uh, Sundays. Oh, again, I forgot the time. Um, the Monday World PvE event is also going to be starting later on in the evening, um, 8 p.m. EST. Um, so, with that, um, the last ev event we're going to go over here is going to be on Sundays. Um, this will be a, um, a, a pretty much an um, all-day affair. Um, it's going to be dungeons. Um, you know, all the grouped instance dungeons that you can do for the Undaunted uh, dailies and so forth. Um, I do not have any updates yet as to what we're going to be doing with the raid situation yet. Um, I'm just, there's two posts out there to get your um, word in on as to what time um, would be a, a good time for you. Um, there's a day, a daytime, or a, uh, there's a day poll and a time poll. I'm going to be posting them here in a second. Um, if you haven't already voted, please do. Um, I'm trying to get as much opinion from everybody as possible. Yes, but it's 100k. When does the patch go live for Champion? We don't know. It is not on the PTS yet. Okay. Last podcast puts it going on the PTS at the end of the month, and it going live a few weeks after that. Um, there's no dead set dates yet on the wins, where's, hows, and why's. Has there's been also been a uh, there's also been another announcement has to the, the champion trigger. point system um the last anybody who's been keeping up on it Lavel. the last update Lavel. yet um we will we'll be going over that actually um i need to continue with what i was doing please i'm sorry that's not a problem um, that link that I posted is actually the raid day poll. Um, if you have any inter interest in doing that, please let us know when would be a good time for you. It is a multiple um, answer thing, so you can do multiple days of the week if you want. Uh, this last one here is going to be the raid times. It's essentially the same thing as the days, just uh, just to get a little general better understanding of possible times that would be good for everyone. Um, yeah, um, that is possibly going to be the end of, of me talking now, unless if there's questions. No? Alright, um, at this time, I'm going to pass it off to Arya. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. 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 So I'm going to talk to you guys a little about PvP. Um, we are going to be changing up our PvP schedule a little bit. Um, we're going conti to continue doing PvP on Tuesday, but um, instead of Wednesday, since people kind of get burnt out a little bit, I think, uh, between having PvP and two nights, uh, we're going to move PvP to Friday night. So, and then Friday night, um, you know, people, it's the end of the week, so we can go out and have some fun and spend a little bit later time out in PvP. So that's going to be Tuesday and Tuesday and Friday now, um, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. Um, so, and then also with PvP, I also encourage everyone to get out there, even if you've never pvp before. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, going out with a guild and a big group is way more fun than going out there alone. So if you can come out on Tuesday and Friday, um, I by all means try to get out there. So that is the end of me, and I'm going to pass to Kitty. Thank you, Maria. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm. Hail Swarm.
Mm, nope. Keep it short, guys. Um, just to let you guys know, we have not one but two um, active uh, guilds for trading, guild, guild traders, uh, this week. So Sinister Swarm, for the first time, has its own trader. It is in Shadow... Thread of I believe. Good one. Um, just to let you guys know, so that if you were interested in populating um, the Sinister Swarm with your lower level mats, you can do so. You have an extra 30 spaces now uh, to sell your items. I'm uh, going to try it for this week and possibly next week as well, see how well it goes. Um, Echo, we have left the and it's just another backup vendor, um, something to have in addition to the Merchant Guild, because we don't always get to secure a vendor with the Merchant Guild. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, I want to encourage all our members to um, continue to recruit for the Merchant Guild and obviously for Sinister Swarm as well, where you can. Recruiting for the Merchant Guild is actually, um, in, in many respects, easier than recruiting for Sinister Swarm because with Merchant Guilds you can invite people to Guild right away. So if you're running around in the world and you see in the, in the Guild chat someone's calling out for a trading guild, you can add that person directly to the merchant guilds. Um, I also have a link to sell, send you re relating to um, putting the message out there in zone chat if you wanted to advertise the merchant guild directly, yeah. and that's in the chat box now. Um, that's yeah. just some information and advice to help you out um, if you are interested in, in participating and helping us keep the numbers for the merchant guild up. Is anyone has any questions relating to the merchant guild or the sense of form or trading or uh, crafting? Anna Lightouch has joined the channel. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to also point out again, um, we are available uh, for crafting days on Thursdays. Generally, I'm, I'm online throughout the day. Um, you can pull me at any point for leveling up, uh, or myself or any of the Forge Masters, uh, for leveling up your alts or your mains, or if you need uh, items for research, information or advice. Um, I'm there Thursdays and Sundays, uh, as are a lot of other members who contribute towards um, crafting and Forge Mastering. And that is me done. I, if there are no questions, if there's no slash raises, then I will pass back up to Splint. That jar Mara has left the server. Maybe it he fell asleep. No, it helped if I actually uncheck my mute microphone binds because I was using my alt key to piece stuff around. Sorry about that. I didn't want to talk over anyone. Um, before I get into promotions, uh, I did want to let everyone Dash know that I just made the change that all ranks uh, from newbie up can sell on the Sigil Swarm Guild Bank. We made a change earlier. So, uh, feel free to sell your lower level materials. Um, I would say keep your like calcinium level, which is your bet one rank stuff, at least a, a moderate stock. Um, just because it's nice to have that upgrade from, from 50 to, to bet one. And uh, obviously, your higher tier, you would probably want to keep a little bit of stock in that too, especially with the changes coming out. All right, we have a number of promotions, um, but first and foremost, we'll get our newest newbie to worker bee promotion. So I'm not really sure if they're here. I'm actually gonna. Uh, they are not here, but I'm still gonna give them a promotion. Uh, congratulations to the fox, who is now a worker bee and official member of the Sister Swarms. Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats. Congratulations. Awesome. And we have three people available to be tortured this week by the infamous, or not so infamous, uh, Sinister Swarm Soldier V Test of Knowledge this week. Uh, I know at least one of them is in Vent because I saw him earlier. So that being said, Chested, you are available to be updated to the rank of Soldier V. Are you ready for your Soldier V Test of Knowledge? Uh, I haven't looked at it in a while, but uh, I can pull it up here. Give me a minute. 
Well, fair enough. And just a reminder as he's pulling that up, guys, it's an open book test. Uh, at the very least, it proves you know how to read, but at the very most, it proves that you actually uh, took the time to look over the laws of the policy or uh, community information. Uh, so you have a, a good grasp of what we're trying to build here. And for your first question, we will hand it off to... Mm, which person might I got to pick on today? Um, let's pick on Ritualist. Already? Fine. Um, the longest running chapter with the Sinister connected? Swarm has been what? Dark Age of Camelot? That sounded too easy. Oh, that is easy. <laughs> I've actually looked at that picture about a hundred times. <sighs> there goes that idea. <laughs> um, your next question will be given by Arya. Okay. Explain the meaning behind the guild name, Sinister Swarm. Okay, bear with me. Dark Fate has left the server. Just looking through. I apologize. So do you mean why it was called the Sin or were called the Sinister Swarm? Yeah, where did they come up with that name? If you're looking for it, I believe it's in the history. Yeah, I was looking in there, bear with me. Oh. No, no, sorry. Wrong one. We originally thought out warm puppies, but thought it was a little too friendly. <laughs> I thought it was sparkly elves from Happy Land. <laughs> yeah, that's our covert name. That's the one we kept. <laughs> that's our PvP Shh, name. Not covert now. Yeah, Sinister Swarm translates to Sparkly Elves from Happy Land into some foreign language. I don't remember which one it was. Bosmer. I could have sworn I saw a documentary <laughs> on that a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Sinister came from the fact that everybody decided, uh, everybody gravitated towards the darker, more menacing races and factions. So the sinister prefix seemed very appropriate, um, and then swarm was because uh, it doesn't refer to any single person, entity, or individual, but more as a community, which was uh, what we were trying to gear towards. You got it. Sound good to me. Nice job. All right, and for your last question. Hmm. Let's give it to someone who's notorious for giving fun questions. How about Hobbit? Crap! I mean, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here.
Mm, you caught me unprepared. An automatic pass on the third question. Woo! <laughs> Not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll channel. Kara has left the server. All right. Explain to us what the gold medal of choice is and how you get it. Can you repeat that? Sorry, I was just AFK for a minute. Okay. Explain to us what the gold medal of choice is and how you get it. If you're gonna do it, at least get the actual song. Jeez, don't botch it. <laughs> I take it Grim doesn't sing during karaoke. Uh, that would be a giant no. It's okay, neither do I. <laughs> What was the name of it again, Hobbit? The Gold Medal of Choice. People pick the worst times to phone call. Okay, did you answer your question to satisfaction, Hobbit? Clearly, Splint is not paying attention. No, Clearly, Splint was on the phone. Yeah. Alright, that being said, congratulations on your promotion to the regular season. <laughs> he hasn't answered it yet, Splint. Oh! <laughs> See? <laughs> You're still not paying attention. <laughs> yes! Oh, best, best, best question answer ever. Fail. I'm just trying oh, to find it here. Mocha has connected. There we go. I just had to actually click the button. I was like, I know it's here, but I just can't find it. Um, granted to members who have received multiple HCAs, Hive Choice Awards, upgraded by three. What is the Hive Choice Award? 
Recognition for an amazing post. Once in a while, a post to our forums will come along that dramatically impresses officers. Awesome, well done. Right. Blint, I have now yes, answered indeed. his question. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rehash the generic. Congratulations on completing your Soldier B test of knowledge. Uh, one of the officers will take care of your promotion in game, and I'll take care of it in event. I'll have to finish off the rest of these promotions. Uh, let's see here. That was difficult. I realized that my push to talk button was also. Uh, on my mouse was the back button on the internet, so every time I tried to talk to you guys, it kept clicking me out of the the forum post. <laughs> Don't. Mine's the forward button, and it gets me every time. Oh jeez. Uh, the next two people who are available for promotions are not on vent at this moment, so Sir Ed and McLox, um, the only if you can get a hold of an officer. Uh, and there's enough people online, we can embarrass you just as well as we uh, attempted to embarrass uh, Chested on their Soldier Be Chested knowledge, and we'll get you promoted as soon as humanly possible. That being Chested. said, what's your admin? Theo D. 1987. Thank you. I will just say a, a however for you, though, Splint. There are two people from last week and one from the week before who are, who are still waiting. Oh, wow. And that would be Wolfgar and Greenlight. Alright. Let's get the first one first, and we'll get Greenlight. Alright, Greenlight, are you ready for your Soldier B test of knowledge? Uh, well, no, I wasn't planning on it. I haven't done 20 posts. I don't believe. Mm, I double check, but if I put it in then. I'm just looked up on the list. I didn't see it there either, but I took your word for it. Mm, no, it's no, 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 and the clock, so my apologies. I was looking for the clocks. So. Oh! Dark well, then we have the post pony. Get your post count up! Get your post count up! So we're gonna embarrass you! Wolfgar, are you available <laughs> for your Soldier B test of knowledge? Wolfgar? He might have had to take the dog out or something. I just messaged him. If you want to move on. Right. Oops, that was supposed to be a D. I don't know. Anyway, um... So, unfortunately, Wolfgar is in here, so I can embarrass him. Okay. Um, wow. There's so much stuff going on. Why is it whenever I want to get things done? Everything is so super busy. Okay. Um, so, first of all, I wanted to thank everyone for coming out. It's awesome to have you guys all show up. It's really cool that we can get together as a community and have this open forum, uh, especially at the end of the meeting, where you guys can ask your questions and you can get answers directly from us and you can see where our mindset is. Um, also, as a, a friendly reminder, um, just because we're having an officer meeting does not mean that you guys aren't welcome to, to be there. Uh, it's part of the founding principles of this chapter was that we run everything Blaze clear and transparently. The and uh, we are happy to have you sit in on the officer meetings and get you, get your input as far as uh, where we can improve um, or things that you see that uh, we would like to see in the future as well. Uh, 
Um, I did want to make a note um, as far as the PTS goes. Uh, I'm trying to locate it, but there's a thread up on the SO forums where people can stream and potentially get a developer to come along with you. I'm going to post up my streaming information. Ari's going to post up hers, and I would encourage the rest of you who are planning on streaming PTS action to um, to uh, post up as well uh, for the possibility of getting your chance to literally uh, post your questions to a developer and also get a chance to play out on uh, the PTS. There's something that uh, I know at least six or seven of us are planning on doing um, when the PTS becomes active because of the sweeping changes to a lot of classes and it's nice to go in uh, when it's uh, such a large system overhaul. It's nice to be able to go in. There you go. Um, it's nice to have um, an idea of what you're getting yourself into. Be aware that when the patch goes live, everyone gets a free respec, so you're definitely going to want it because apparently there's changes that will make uh, more of the casters more stam viable and vice versa for more of the stam builds more uh, magical viable. Um, so, highly encourage you guys to you know, get on the PTS. It's definitely worth checking out. And I'm sure that a bunch of us will be running it. I'm, I know that Arya is planning on streaming it. I'm planning on streaming it. And uh, awesome to have the rest of you out here too. Just to, at the very least have a fun time and play around with the new systems. Um, if you cannot get a character copy, don't fret too much. Or if you don't have a max level character, don't fret too much. Uh, you can get a template creation, which is a vet level 14 character with like 5 million gold and pretty much like blah, max and all this other happy stuff. Um, so it'll give you at least uh, the open playground to play around and figure out, like, oh, I like where this is going, so I definitely want to build my character towards this, and so forth. So highly encourage you guys to do that. It's one of the things that as soon as we have a date when the PTS is up, um, hopefully it'll be up next week, you know, knock on wood. Um, we can let you guys know during the meeting or during um, definitely during the meeting and also with forum posts. As far as uh, when we're going to get together and play, also being active in event is a great way to keep in touch with us as far as events like that. I know that we've been talking about it over the last week. I'm sure Grim has heard enough to uh, make his ears bleed on the subject matter. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Um, that being said, um, it was great to have you guys here. Um, and I'm going to pass it over to Hobbit for the meeting closing. And we're going to head off to the Q&A section. So, hop. Thank you very much. So, yeah, we are going to go this right into the Q&A session here. Um, this will close out the, the meeting for the day. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, something you'd like to bring, um, just put a slash raise in chat, and we'll get to each and every one of you in order. <laughs> 